Hello YouTube, El plays back for some more No Man's Sky and our space adventure and we're back on the planet that we've dubbed Sanguis, uh, which means blood in Latin according to one of you kind people in the comments uh, who suggested that cool name and it makes sense because it's a red planet and the oceans are bright red which is crazy as hell uh, so it looks like oceans of blood which is cool. Uh, I think we've got a bit more exploring to do here because it is a pretty bizarre funky looking planet. It has kind of cool red gla gr glass, grass. Uh, with like these beautiful like foresty trees as well, so it's, it's pretty cool and it's full of weird life But unfortunately they mostly seem to be these little potato heads at the moment. Uh, I haven't seen any big creatures here um, I did someone did point out in the last episode that I missed a sea creature There was a dot off in the distance that I didn't investigate and I missed it um, So that could potentially have been a huge sea creature. We've still never really seen a proper like big giant sea creature so maybe maybe today could be the day we do that uh, what have we got so we've got a question mark over here which I think that's where I'm heading at the moment um, and our ship our beautiful look at it in sea of beauty I figured out the bolt caster thing so you guys were probably like screaming and pulling your hair out watching me in the last episode uh, because I didn't realize that I hadn't installed the bolt caster mod <laughs> <laughs> I put the upgrade for the bolt caster but not the bolt caster itself so I've now got that all sorted and we're good to go uh, so let's go. Yeah, let's go back to the ship, and I think we'll, we'll go to the. We'll go to a few question marks. Hopefully, find a couple. Whoa! This is bizarre. Look at this. <laughs> How did this floating tree get here? This is the most bizarre rendering, like glitch I've ever seen in the game. What the heck? That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it's maybe there's an explanation. It was it was one of these trees that grows on the side here. Uh, that's bizarre as well, isn't it? I've never seen anything like that before. That's crazy. Uh, maybe the mountain eroded and then it fell down and got stuck there. <laughs> that's crazy. I've never seen these trees like grow on the side like that. It's kind of funky. All right, let's get back in the ship. The winged frog must fly. Adventure awaits us, guys. Look at this little sentinel. Get out of my face. Right, where do we? Ooh, where do we want to go? Where's that question mark? It's over here. Anomaly. Oh. Have I been to that anomaly? We're finding a lot of anomalies. Where's the question mark that I was like about to go to? Aha! Ah ha ha ha! Okay, we should be there in like two seconds. Oh no, it's underwater! Ah, oh, I think I've already. Did I spot that before? But there's nowhere anywhere close by to land, so we can't really. Ch this is cool. Oh, maybe we could land like here. Yeah, that could work if it will let us. Whoa, why has everything gone super green? This is crazy. Man, the, uh, oh, the, we are in a lime <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the other thing that I've named. <laughs> so I've named the system that we're in Lilt Prime. Uh, because someone said because it's lime green, name it after, like, a green drink, like, Lilt or 7-Up or something like that. Uh, so we've gone with Lilt Prime. I mean, it's not the best name in the world, but I thought it was pretty funny. What are these? Are these stars? That's, that is definitely new. Are you guys seeing that? Am I imagining that? These white dots here. Oh, I think they're birds in the distance, right? Okay, oh, I thought there was like stars popping in or something. I was like, that's kind of weird. That, it does kind of look like stars though, right? We're just staring at the constellations. Uh, just over here, as you can see, this is the uh, the famous constellation of El Plays. There he is. <laughs> I've got no idea what I'm talking about. Right, let's go. We're, let's, how far is it? We can get there. We can get there, right? Oh, maybe I can do that little... So if we boost all the way up, and then aim down, whoa, that's supposed to be the pretty, oh, this is a really beautiful ocean, actually, this is kind of, there's so much life under the ocean, hey, have I discovered you, you little poppers, yeah, I got, there's, there, there it is, there he is, there's one red, there's one red dot on his own, could it be, could we have found Nessie, oh, how cool would that be if it was like a Loch Ness monster type thing, I don't know what that would look like, because obviously it's not real, <laughs> Spoiler alert to any of you conspiracy theorists out there that are searching for Nessie. Uh, oh, I want to catch it. I want to catch it. Come on, please. Please let me... Where's he gone? Don't you dare escape from me, boy. How far away is it? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, my God. It's a, Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Is that an alligator type thing? No. Oh, is it an eel? Is it an eel or an alligator? That is crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, where is it? I want to get close to it. It's there, right? It's going to be too fast, isn't it? We're not going to be able to catch it, the damn thing. Right, let's, let's it's, going, it's going this way, so let's try that. Zoom! Splodoosh. And then... Splo as high as we can. 
And spadoosh. So that's supposedly the like the technique to go really fast through the water, but I'm not I don't think I'm doing it properly. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at it, let's just say that much. Oh, he's too fast, we can't get near him. Okay, there is another way we can do it. So if we we've discovered him now, right? So if we just instead of trying to chase him down, because we're never gonna catch him. This is why they need submarines in the game, man. They need some sort of aquatic uh like seafaring ship. Something like that would be super cool to explore the oceans properly. Because you just can't do it right now. So if we go... I'm not drowning right now, am I? Because it's paused. If we go to... We should be able to see him here, right? I want to see... I want to get a good look to see what he looked like. Huh? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, that is gross. How come we can't see him move? That is... Oh, such a jip. He, so he's like a weird, wormy eel type. That's pretty gross. Uh, 2.95 meters. That's pretty. That's pretty huge. That is actually a pretty big creature. Um, that's definitely one of the larger sea creatures for sure. In like in terms of what we've actually seen before. Uh, oh god, where am I now? Like back to my ship. <laughs> We're gonna drown, guys. Help me. Send help. Okay, the ship's over there. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna try and get to this question mark under the water, and then we'll come back. You guys are. Oh, actually, are we right next to the question? Oh, we're right there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, I've just luckily ended up to be right near where I need. What is this? Uh, I've ended up, like, luckily being close to where we need to go. I'm so going to drown, aren't I? This is terrible. Man, it's so green. Okay, okay, we're here, we're here. It's down here. Uh, I should probably... I mean, we've got full oxygen thing at the moment, right? I don't see anything down there. There's nothing there. Oh, I could try my... Uh, what's the button to shoot my... L. Yes, this is the button to shoot my grenades. Haha. <laughs> Let's, fo let's fire some grenades down there. Just Oh, no, no, it's fine. We can totally discover it without doing that. Uh, do I need to go for air first, or will I be okay? Uh, I'm risking it, guys. I'm risking it. We might die here. This could be quite embarrassing. Oh, this would be a really bad way to start. Like, this is my first uh, recording today. I'm, I'm going to sit down and, like, I love I love the weekends. I just get a chance to sit down and play, like, plenty of No Man's Sky goodness. Uh, but this is recording number one of the day. So if we die like this... <laughs> <laughs> Straight away on the first one, that'd be why. Oh no, my inventor is full, you jipper! Right, I'm going straight up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, life support's offline. Hey, come on, come on, come on, get to the top, get to the top. I can sort my life support as soon as I've got oxygen, but first, let's get oxygen. We've got loads of health now, actually. I've upgraded their suit, uh, our exosuit thing in the health, so we should be alright. Come on, get to the surface, get to the surface, get to the surface. We've got to be there. Yeah, there we go. Whew. Okay, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. Right, let's let's um let's fill this bad boy back up. Oh, we don't have a lot of formium. We need to be careful. Oh, this is this is a really beautiful ocean. It's kind of crazy. Um, I think I think what we're gonna do. I'm I'm gonna pause it now. I'm gonna head back down there. I'm gonna retrieve all those goodies, and then we'll come back when we're doing a bit more exploration in the daytime on the planet. It's kind of it's kind of like gloomy at night time, isn't it? And we don't we don't want that. We want a nice happy atmospheric start to the to the day. <laughs> so I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back. It's a beautiful sunny day in the blood red planet with the weird purpley red oceans. And we're about to discover another question mark, which is underwater. So I'm hoping it could be something cool. Where's it gone? It was like right here. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, nice. Is this... Is that ruins? Is it ruins? Is that what they're called? Or is it... No, that's not ruins, is it? I've forgotten what these are called. What a derp. Uh, landmark. Okay, that'll do. Oh, these look so... I wish... I really wish you could take a picture in like... In this... When it's looking like this. Oh, it looks so good, like with that blue glow. I wish that stayed like after the text was gone, so you could get a good like shot of it. Uh, with each conquered world, the first spawn's resolve strengthens. None shall oppose the Gek, for fear their planet shall be shaken to dust. We will weep when there are no more worlds to conquer. Uh, give me your words, boy. Knowledge of the Gek. My Gek ranking is still the lowest one at the moment, but we're definitely like I'm getting all of them up pretty high now. So I don't I don't think I have very far to go until I'm like top level with the Viking and the Corvax. Uh, Gek will probably take me a little bit longer, but saying that you do quite you do find the Gek nip stuff quite often So I need to try and remember to keep that and hand it into the Geks whenever I see them I think that's probably gonna do it for this planet is you know what? It's like really in the daytime. It's so bright that it's almost like garish. It does look really cool though uh, oh, Like this this little scene over here like oh it just looks so nice with the, like the purpley ocean in the background it Looks really calm and it almost looks like a pastel-y type painting type thing <laughs> 
<laughs> Pastel type painting type thing. That's right, I said it. All right, let's get out of here. We're gonna explore. Oh no, oh no, we are stranded, guys. Uh, where am I going? I need to be in here. Uh, Lawn thruster. Oh, we got loads of plutonium. That's fine. I need thormium. I'm pretty low on thormium at the moment. Uh, all right, let's blast off. Let's. Should we go to the anomaly? I don't know if I've been to the. Have I been to the anomaly already? I can't remember if I already went there. I have a feeling that I've already been to the anomaly, but then again, I'm I like it might have been in the system just before this one. Uh, I know I've been to the one like very like not very long ago. Do I want to go to the which one's closer, space station or anomaly? They're about like the same distance. We should probably go to the space station first. I might actually go and check out the freighter. I've not been inside a freighter for a long time, so let's go and actually check out one of the freighters. Uh, I know there's obviously there's a lot of new people to the series, and uh, I don't like it's been so long since I've been inside a freighter that some of you guys have probably actually never seen me <laughs> have a little look inside one. Uh, it just makes me jealous. That's the reason I don't go in one. I want a freighter so bad, but we're just so so broke right now. <laughs> I've got like I haven't even got half a million units, and we need like two million plus units for every slot in our ship to unlock at the moment, and we want to do that before we even think about getting a freighter. So. We're a long way away from being rich enough for one of these bad boys, but they look so damn cool. You can build a base in one as well, right? I'm not imagining that. I'm pretty sure you guys have told me that before. That's awesome as hell. Having a base inside a freighter as well as on a planet does sound really, really nice. <laughs> I'm just going to make myself sad. All, all the things in life that we can't have yet. Uh, do I want to go this way? Or No, no, no. Get me out of here, fool. Let's go up here. What about... Okay, so that's the main that's the main bit, isn't it? Are these doors? I don't know if you can even open this. No, you can't. Okay, cool. All right, I got it. I got it. I know what's going on. Let's get out of here, fool. Can I? Oh, I run. I feel like I run really slowly at the moment. Uh, excuse me. Oh, whoa! These have changed a bit since the last time I came into one. Oh, I don't think I've been in one since they did the last like textures update. It's a lot more colourful in here now than it was when I first saw one. <laughs> the little, little gek eyeballs. What a guy. Right, let's go see if we can uh, get anything good. Ooh. What is that? Has that always been there? This little drone thing? Oh, this, this, uh, so anyone who's following the whole like Waking Titan, No Man's Sky, ARG, mystery cassette thing, uh, I think some people have pointed, like, some people have even mentioned this, like, there's a planet here. Maybe that's the one planet that the portals will take us to and all this kind of stuff. It's all exciting stuff. No one knows, like, what the truth is at the moment, but it's, it's a good mystery to follow along. Let's talk to the captain. Let's just, out of curiosity, let's just see how much this freighter would cost us. If we were balling and we could afford it. Uh, offer to buy. <laughs> well, I got, I got three leftover crisps. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, oh, it's only 15 slots, this is, and it, it's not really a good looking one either, is it? But it's still 11 million units. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just, just, just gonna walk away. I mean, yeah, I totally could, but it's not really my style. So, see ya. Uh, is there, can you, is there a regular trade point in here? I feel like there should be. Surely there must be a regular old. Tra oh, that looks cool as hell. Look out there. Oh, nice. I wish I could like go in a spacesuit and like walk on the edge of the stations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that idea just came to me like right now randomly. I don't know why. Uh, is there not? Is, surely there's a regular old trade point in here. I guess not. I guess we can just buy the uh, the ship. That's fine. We're right next to the anomaly and the space station anyway, so it's no biggie. Excuse me. Yeah. I love the atmosphere inside these things. Actually, they they seem. I don't know why they seem cooler than inside the space stations. Inside the anomaly is still my favourite like indoor um, like building that the game has at the moment. That looks cool as hell. Oh, I'm just I'm just dreaming of the day when I've got my own freighter and I can have like multiple ships docked here. <laughs> it seems like I'll never get there, guys, but we will. Once I once I finally get in gear and start getting my Oh I can trade with random people, can't I? Let's just trade with this geezer in here. Uh, mining overseer Yunt. <laughs> Whoa! He's got no eyes. That's creepy as hell. Uh, I'm gonna sell you all my junk. What do I want to sell? Uh, Convergent. Ooh, but I can give this to like Corvax people to up my standing. Uh, let's get rid of all this because I don't need that. I don't need whatever that is. Condensium, I think I need for one of my quests. Mordite can probably go. We can just kill animals to get that whenever we want. Coprite can probably go. Viking daggers and stuff we probably want to keep. Um, oh, th these are gifts though. Pugnium can can Pugnium go? I think I need Pugnium for a quest. Neutrino modules, they can all go definitely. Uh, titanium, we probably want to keep. Shielding plate, I mean we c we do use them, but I don't want it right now. So get out of my face. 
Watch me need that now in like 10 seconds. I'm going to be desperately wishing I hadn't done that. <laughs> Alright, we sold some stuff. That's fine. Let's get out of here. I want to go to the station uh, and we'll give some... We'll get rid of the rest of our junk there properly, I think. Where's my ship? Dude, where's my car? Oh, there it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you can't do the... You can't do the like super boost thing inside. I'm so used to like walking that way now that I just don't... don't <laughs> well, like, I, I don't understand how I could like get around without doing it. Okay, there's the inside of the freighter, guys. We've done it. We've been inside one. I probably won't go in one again now until I can actually afford to buy one. Oh, that would be such a good day when we're actually freighter shopping. How, how nice that would be. Whoa. Man, this game is beautiful. Look at this. That was a really cool change of music as well. Uh, right, where's the... Enough jibber-jabbing. Oh, what is this? This looks cool. Where's the... Where's the space station or the anomaly? Whichever one comes first is the one we Get out of my way, fool! Is the one we're going to. Where is it? Is it over here? Oh, dummy, I'm looking at the corner of the screen, but it's... <laughs> what did that say? Oh, yeah, I can destroy those, but I don't want to do that, because I don't want... <laughs> you guys know that I, uh, I like to avoid conflict, shall we say, in the game. I mean, some people would call me cowardly, but I I'd like to think of myself as a peaceful, strategic uh, force in the universe. Okay, so I'm back, and I've ended up back on our beautiful home planet called Earthen Utopia. Uh, I came back here basically just to carry on with my little quest lines for the NPC guys, because I had a few things to hand into them and clear out my space. Uh, and while I was here, I found a notification popping up on the screen, uh, just over here, which says, Communication Station. Now, I don't know if that's just a random communication station that I can go and leave a message on, or if someone has actually left a message which is why it's showing up so I figured we'll go and like check it out and just see what's going on there uh, but along the way I thought I'd pop in here because, oh wow look at this beautiful beautiful place <laughs> oh man it's so pretty because uh, I found these guys so these are brand new species that we found on our home planet I've still got a couple of species to find uh, but these actually look really cool if, if I can get a good good look at their eyes they're like super bright green eyes and it just looks really cool where's the big one here's the big one how majestic do these things look these, these, I think these might be the coolest creatures I've seen in quite a while. Let me pop into photo mode just to get like close to it, be easier. Look at those eyes! How cool does that look? There's like so much detail on. They look, I don't know. They just, look, I don't know why. I just saw them. I was like, man, that looks cool. <laughs> so yeah, I figured we'd stop by and show you that. And then as I was on the way there to this little thing, oh, watch me lose it now. What I was about to show you. It's just here. So I found this really bizarre cave uh, that's like built into the hill, but like. It's blended into it like super super well. I almost like didn't see it if it wasn't for this like black grass around the edge I probably wouldn't have even noticed it, uh, but how cool is this? There's like there's a huge like cave system down here Just built and it's kind of like an eyeball shape. Like how cool is that? <laughs> I don't know like that just really blew my mind. It just looks absolutely it's kind of like a little Gateway into another world kind of thing. It just looks really nice ah. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too easily impressed. I don't know if you guys don't think that's cool then let me know, and uh, <laughs> and obviously I need to like just sort my life out, but I thought this was amazing, and if I like jump down here, ooh, there's loads of plutonium down here as well, which is pretty damn awesome, but look at this, it's like, I've never seen a cave that's like, it's just like outside in here, it's not, it doesn't look like the inside of a cave, it just looks like beautiful outside place with all these cool like red glow, glow worm things flying around, or fireflies, whatever they're called, but I just thought that was absolutely awesome, it looked really cool, uh, and if we go out here, I don't know if it will let me do it again. Oh, this is such a cool little spot. I feel like I found a really cool little secret base on our planet. I wish I could build a little base down here. It just feels like so, I don't know, like such a cool little tucked away hidden secret that we found, you know? I don't know. It just feels really nice. I like it. <laughs> and I can just, only just fit through that gap there. Uh, if I actually try and go back through that gap, it doesn't always let, let you do it. Yeah, look, it's like super small. So you have to basically get a run up and then look down for it to work. I'm not, it's not going to do it now. I've said that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was a really cool thing, so yeah, I don't know, I like that, that's what, probably one of the cooler terrain like generation things I've ever seen in the game, it just looks really cool. Let's uh, watch me not be able to get like, out of here now. So I want to go check out this comm station, I don't, I, uh, you guys know what I'm like, I'm a bit of an idiot, I've probably seen a comm station before, I can't remember what they do, or they, well I know you can leave messages for other people at them, um, but it's just, I don't remember seeing it like pop up like this, so I just want to see... Oh, 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 that is cool. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> so somebody, one of you guys watching my videos has been back to my, has like obviously seen where my home planet is and come back here and left me a note. That is the cool, oh, that's such a cool thing. That's probably the coolest thing that's happened to me in this game. That's like a really nice little moment. Oh, I don't know who that is. 
Okay, can I see who left the message? That's so cool. Can I, I want to get a screenshot. Give me a screenshot. Yeah, I think I got a screenshot. Oh, that's so good. That's so damn cool. Oh, that's awesome. Can I, like, leave a message back? Zen Mass, was that, was that the person? Zen Mass 77? Is that who left the message? Yeah, I think so. Or is that the name of the station? I don't know how these things work, but that is so cool. I put press square to report inappropriate content. <laughs> <laughs> let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> That's super cool. The communication station holds a message from a fellow traveller. It reads, "Hey, enjoying the videos." Well, that's fantastic. That's probably one of the coolest little moments that I've had. So, whoever is watching along and has left that message, thank you so much. That's pretty damn awesome. And I think that's actually, I think on that really cool little moment there, that's a pretty good way to end the episode. Um, wow, that's just, I don't, that's the first time I've seen a proper little message, and it's one that's actually meant for me. So that is pretty damn crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you are all enjoying the videos, just like uh, this person who's left that comment for me. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventure. Take care, guys, and peace.